Uh, I just tripped and fell down the stairs and then hit a pole. Oh my god. By using glue, but not real glue. Have you ever had that one teacher in school that was so mean and they never let you eat in class? Well today, you're in luck because I'm gonna show you how to sneak candy into class. If you try any of these methods and you get caught with candy, just know it's not the cringe fam's fault. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Jack. Hey, Fab, just take a seat. <sighs> Perfect. Hey. No eating in my classroom or you'll get detention. S sorry, I didn't know I wasn't allowed to eat in class. This isn't the cafeteria, it's the classroom. The first way to sneak candy into a classroom is by using glue, but not real glue. You're gonna empty this glue out and replace it with something that looks awfully similar to glue, but it'll really be candy. Now that the glue bottle is completely cleaned out, I'm going to add some white icing. Alright, hopefully I can sneak this candy in without getting caught. Are you ready for art class today? I'm so ready! Okay, remember your assignment is due in five minutes. I'll give you five minutes to work on your art project. Then we're going to go over them and grade them. Remember, the only thing you're allowed to use is paper, glue, scissors, and a pencil. And that's it. And then we're going to look at it in five minutes. So make sure you turn it in. The second way to sneak candy into a classroom is by replacing your crayons with edible candy crayons. This should be super easy. All right, class, you only have three more minutes left and then your assignment is due. Remember, no cheating. You are not allowed to cheat or you will get a zero on your assignment. Oh, these papers are so hard to grade. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just working on my project. Okay, you only have one minute left. <laughs> the third way to sneak candy into a classroom is with this hairbrush. Let me show you. If you didn't know, most hairbrushes actually have a secret compartment. I really like eating Skittles, so I put Skittles in here. Then I'm going to put the hairbrush back together. Just like this. Let's see if I can get away with this one. Hey, Mr. Jack. Hey, Fab. All right, so this is where Wyoming is, and directly to the west of it is Idaho. Now, Idaho is known for having tons of waterfalls, big mountains. I mean, it's an awesome state. Can you not brush your hair when I'm teaching? I need you to pay attention, Fab. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just put it down. Do it when class is over. Anyway, so yes, they went out west in the westward expansion, and they made it all the way to the west coast, and that's where they ended up in Oregon, California, Arizona, and even even some parts of Alaska, which is way up here, all the way to the top left. Now on your quiz, you're gonna, what are you doing? Are you eating? Uh, no eating in uh, class. Uh, How many times do I have to tell you to not eat candy in class? I'm sorry, I'll put it away. <laughs> the fourth way to sneak candy into a classroom is by putting a Band-Aid on your forehead and getting a reusable ice pack and Stuffing it with candy. Hopefully, I don't get caught this time. How are you doing today? Whoa, what happened? Uh, I just tripped and fell down the stairs and then hit a pole. Oh my gosh, I hope you're okay. I'll be fine. Well, class, everybody, we are going to be going over the adventures of Captain Underpants. So I need everyone to open your book up and everyone turn to chapter number six, Busted. Now, I'm going to call on a couple of you randomly and we are going to go over what happened in the chapter and I need to know what the hidden message was. Now, this was everyone's last night assignment. Oh. Are you okay? Do you need more ice? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. just going to, I'm going to just like sit back like this a little bit. That's okay. okay. That's fine. You're fine. But anyways, the hidden message in this chapter is supposed to be about that if you prank somebody, you always have to say that you're sorry. If you don't say you're sorry, it's not a prank. It's, it's really just being mean. So, if, and then if you turn to the next page, that's the, the, the beginning of the next chapter, you'll be able to see right there exactly how you can say you're sorry to somebody and, and you can make it seem like you are genuine, right? Because if you prank them, you have to say sorry. 
Are you okay? Uh-huh. Are, are you sure you don't want me to take you to the, you know, the principal's I'm office fine. to get, get you more ice? Can you just keep reading? I, it was really cool. All right, everyone go back to that chapter. The fifth way to sneak candy into class is by stuffing your pockets. Let's test this experiment out. Hey. Hey, welcome to class. All right, everybody, today we are going to be going over the definition that you were supposed to study last night. Uh, what, what do you need to pass? Um, can you, like, check my grade? Because my mom said that there might have been something wrong with it, you know? You want me to check your grade? Yeah. All right, can we do this at the end of class? No, 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 no. What are you doing? I really need you to check it. Okay, all right, all right, I'll, you're fine. I'll check it real quick. I'll pull up the grade book. We'll see what your grade is. My do you want to know what you got on the last quiz or the last test or what your grade is so far uh, for this semester? All three. Um, this semester, you have a B plus, and then for the quiz, you got an A minus, and the test, you actually got a C, so we're, we're probably going to have to go over some of the questions no, no, that we're no, on can that. you check that? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't get a C on it. No, I just can, saw can it. Can you check it again, please? Okay, fine. Yeah. No, you got a C on that. Yeah, we should definitely go over some what? of the questions. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay, no chewing gum in class. Okay, sorry. The sixth way to sneak candy into class is by doing a little DIY cutout in your notebook for a perfect spot to hide candy. He'll never know. Shh. You're late. Go ahead and open your notebook and get started writing on your one-page essay. Sorry, um, I'll get started right away. Good. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just working on my essay. Ooh, the seventh way to sneak candy into your classroom is by using a football. It looks normal until you turn it around and there's a hidden candy compartment. This one is genius. Let's test it out. <laughs> hey, quit it. No play with balls in class. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, we're about to go over the lesson plan for the day. So, we oh, are going... Is that a risk? I think there's a rip in the map. Where? Oh, the, the rip's up there. You should you should really check on it. Where? Up near Calgary or, or, or up in Seattle? Um, Where? I think it's a little on top of that. There's no rip in there. What? What are you doing? I said put the ball flat on your okay, desk. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't see the rip though. Like, where is it? Oh, I'm just kidding. I think that there's no rip. Anyways, you know, I need to get back to my lesson plans. The eighth way to sneak candy into class is kind of cute. Do you see this? Well, it also goes inside out, and there's a little compartment to sneak some candy in. All you have to do is turn it over, shove your candy in really well, and you're all good. I always take my stuffed animal with me to class. Let's go. Are you ready for show and tell today, Afab? Yeah, I brought my squishy. What is that? Uh, you are not allowed to have food in class. You cannot have that. Okay, sorry. No, that's just not allowed. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to eat this. The ninth way to sneak candy into class is by disguise. You have a bunch of Sharpies, but there's also some candy in there. Nobody's gonna know. How would they know? Welcome to drama class. Today's lesson is how to be extra cringy. Ew, who wants to be cringy? Okay, so for today's lesson, you're gonna be writing subscribe in three different colors. Did you bring your markers with you? Yeah, I have them right here. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and work on that, and then when you're done, let me know and you can turn it in. If you need different colors, by the way, I got red, black, and blue. Oh, I'll take the red. You need red? Yeah, because okay. if, if the subscribe button's red, they gotta turn it gray. Perfect. You got about 60 seconds left on this. Actually, 30 seconds. We have a lot of stuff to do today. Hurry okay, up. Okay. The tenth and final way to sneak candy into class is distraction. I have my phone, and you know how teachers hate when you have your phone out in school? He's gonna be so distracted taking my phone away that he's not gonna notice that I have candy. This one's gonna be a piece of cake. He gets so mad every time he sees my phone, so let's do this. Oh my gosh, Addison, last night was crazy. Hey. No having your phone in class. I'm gonna take it. Come on, give me the phone. Give it up. Give it up. 
You're not allowed to have your phone out in class. I'll give it to you at the end of class, okay? I'm gonna put it in my desk. If it rings, or you get a call from anybody, then you are going to get detention after class. Uh-huh. You hear me? All right, are you ready to start class? Okay, let's go. If you made it this far, you're probably a pro at sneaking candy into a classroom. I'll see you in the next video, and don't forget to stay cringy. Today's subscriber shoutouts go to Lauren, Chris, Lily, Josh, and Mina. Want to want a shout out in one of my videos? All you have to do is subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and comment done down below.